Hello viewers, welcome to Programming Geek. I am here with a new tutorial that is how to get selected raw value from data grid view to text box, combo box and dating figure control. Start my SQL server. This is my SQL server database. The server name is Catalog Hyphen SBR. Authentication SQL server authentication, user ID and password. Okay, explain the database. My database name is Programming Tutorial DB and uh, table name is uh, Production Product Info underscore tab. Okay, these are the records in the database table. Product ID name is Design Color Insert Data Updated and Expiry Date. Okay, now. Um, uh, run this project this is the previous tutorial what i have shown crude tutorial uh, in c sharp using visual studio 2015 in this tutorial i will show how to get selected row from direct view to tax box in that case uh, uh, you can see this is the previous tutorials form crude operation complete crude operation now, and now i'm gonna add a new form to display uh, how to get selected row from direct view to tax box okay in that case add new form select windows form yes windows form name the windows form form name is uh, data grid view cell click add yes now this form is added design this form i just copy paste uh, uh, from the crude operation uh, form you can design this form like uh, text box and grid view okay now level control is not showing due to uh, same color of uh, form background and uh, for, for, for color of level so uh, start position center and change the background color of this form in that case select color back color back color yes this is looking nice now change the text of this button control button uh, text is uh, low data and now change the size okay title change the text of this title label data grid view cell click get text to text box form okay now it's edit this is the button click in this button click on our write code to load data in data grid view okay now SQL connection conical to new SQL to connect to the SQL server database uh, you should add namespace in system to data dot SQL client to use the SQL connection okay now to get the SQL connection first of all you should add, uh, add connection in server explorer server name is catalog hyphen SBR and authentication is SQL server authentication password username is the same password as you can see this is SQL server authentication password and my database name is programming tutorial db you have, you have already seen in SQL server okay next one the database programming tutorial db and table or table table is product input table it's added now right click the database property Connection to double click to copy, yes. Copy and paste it in the SQL connection. You can see user ID is SA and password is SQL server authentication password. You should put your original password. Okay, now SQL command. SQL command cm equal to new SQL command. My SQL command is to select all the records from the uh, SQL Server database table product info underscore tab. So select a star from product info underscore tab. You can see this is the table name. And uh, now initialize the connection string con. Okay. Now SQL data adapter. SQL data adapter DA equal to new. SQL data adapter CM now data table DT equal to new data table finally da dot fill DD okay 
now I'm gonna uh, load data in data grid view so my data grid view name is data grid view 1 data grid view 1 to data source data source is dd ok now it's done start debugging yes oh sorry change the form name in program dot cs file uh, form name is data grid view self click so open the program dot cs and change the form name form name is uh, data grid view self click uh, yes data grid view self click ok now it will uh, run the data grid view self click form yes load data yes now write uh, code to self click event to display data in text box combo box and rectum figure control in that case select the data grid view event uh, and now double click on self click event or press enter ok here just um, just writing code to display data from data grid view to text box so finally uh, first of all data grid view one dot current row dot selected equal to true in which row you will select uh, the which cell you will uh, select uh, it will selected uh, whole cell you can see product id is type is one product name type is two and design color expiry date date time figure one okay now type is one dot text equal to data grid view one dot rows E dot row index row index is I mean what uh, row you select this is the uh, uh, selected row index and dot cell this is column index you can put column name my column name is product ID okay product ID dot value dot twisting okay mm, yes now text box 2 tag was two for item name you can see in the left side server explorer in product info underscore tab tag was two for item name debug or testing load data just select yes you can see product id and item name is uh, displaying in the text box product id and uh, item name text box okay now I'm going to add uh, for design, co uh, color, and expiry date. Design is text box 3, and the column name is design. And uh, this is uh, for combo box color, color in combo box. So combo box 1 dot text equal to color. And then date time figure, date time figure 1 dot text equal to data grid view on dot rows e dot row index and dot cell this is expiry date dot value dot twisting ok now debug yes load data select is yes, all the records are displaying in the uh, relevant text box combo box and date in figure control see that expiry date in expiry date combo uh, date in figure one okay now reset this form and data grid view so that uh, it will uh, uh, display all the records in data grid view load data yes you can see it's displaying perfectly okay now i'm gonna add a if condition row is not is null then it will display the data in the relevant text box control and combo box datum figure if null it will do nothing so data grid beyond dot row zero to index dot select column index dot value not equal to null yes now you can see you can uh, add the index number instead of column name so 0 1 2 3 and six the column in a uh, product id item name design color and uh, expiry date okay you can see it's also you can see zero one two three color 
yes it's working fine product id uh, in c sharp all as uh, index start from zero thanks for watching this tutorial